Okay, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you guys can tell by the title. We are going to be doing an unboxing from none other than Terry Styles. You guys may know her from YouTube as Fabulosity It's Me. Um, when I saw that she was doing wigs, um, and I think that they're cost effective because you guys know I could spend a grip on a wig. Um, so in terms of like what you're getting, um, I just saw that there was great value. But before we get into this video, you guys want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell for post notifications. You guys got to know whenever I post new videos. I mean, you might as well. You're already here. But let's get right into it. Um, so I ended up getting, I think she calls it her Tasha. Now you guys know whenever I film these videos, I try not to be like on my phone and be too distracted. So I forget the name. I forget the price. Well... I didn't forget the price. I paid $8.50 for this wig, which in my mind is very reasonable. I am going to be leaving the description of the wig up here or here. You guys know how I do it. Um, but I believe it's a Tasha in 26 inches. And that's a curly wig. As you guys know, I'm, well, I'm not sure if you know or if you've noticed, but I'm a body wave girl. Um, I don't really do curly. I don't, like when I do wigs, I don't like high maintenance and curly for me is high maintenance. So body weave it is but let's get right into it um so this wig comes in 26 inches um and i figured i would get something that's long because i also have a long wig as you guys know from another wig company who shall remain remain nameless um and uh the hair just didn't hold up too well over time so i figured with this maybe if i straighten it out at least i can get like maybe even a body weave texture um, or even if it straightens out pretty well, at least I kind of killed two birds with one stone and I'm still also trying something new because I'm not really, again, a curly girl. So we're going to get right into that. I do also think I'm just going to be slowing down on, on getting wigs just because I have, I mean, I'm in the process of giving some away to my family members just because I don't use them like the one that I got with the, not that I got, the one that I made um, that I eventually dyed red that had the bangs. I'm going to give that to my cousin just because Red doesn't look good on me. But yeah, let's just get right into this. Um, in addition to the fact that I'm giving them away because I don't really, um, yeah, I don't, I don't wear my wigs on a daily basis. I wear my everyday wig and that's about it. Um, and then right now, just because of everything that I'm going through, I don't really, today is the first day where I feel, I felt like myself. Um, I have cried every single day this year. Um, so haven't really been in the mood to go out to even wear my wigs. So I, that's also the part of the reason why I'm just slowing down on wigs. I am still going to be vlogging for different things on my channel. Um, maybe I'll get more into the lifestyle part of it, but I'm going to slow down on the wigs just because I'm not getting a chance to wear them. So this is the box that it comes in. I'm not sure if you guys can see it because it's like pink. It's like a, a rose colored box with a white writing on it. Um, so I don't think it's too visible in this lighting. Um, okay. Very soft. Very, very soft. Okay. So nothing else in the box besides the wig. So let's get right into it. It smells really good. Now, I do remember, like, on her page, as she says that she washes this hair with Dove. Um, now, I know she also said that she bleaches the knots. So, let's see. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. That's a lot of hair. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, honey. Ooh. So, I was a little skeptical when I ordered it. So, I went back and forth with my cousin who lives in Trinidad. Because um, this is more or less a texture of hair that she would wear. And I'm like, oh, she, you know, she just had come out with this new Filipino wave cut, wave on her, her Instagram page. And I'm like, oh, should I tell her I want to exchange it? I want to get that one instead because, you know, I'm not really, again, a curly wig girl. I'm more of like a body wave. All right, so let's get into this. So it has an elastic band sewn on. Um, it's ve not very similar. It's the same style elastic band as the Freedom Couture wigs. However, Freedom Couture with their, um, with their elastic bands, they have, um, I don't, like a, 
I don't know how to describe it. It's almost as though it's something that's embedded inside of the lace so that it doesn't put any strain on the lace when they sew the elastic band. So that's not something that I see on here. Um, now I know she's not really taking any orders any longer because she's trying to get her hair studio situated. Um, so I, I want to give an honest review. Um, this portion of it in terms of like the elastic band being sewn on here looks a little rushed. Um, but nothing that I'd be too concerned with, um, just as long as it lays flat. But yeah, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It looks like there's hair inside of it, which is minor, but okay, okay. Let's see how these wefts are sewn on. Is it nylon thread? The hair is very soft though. I would definitely say that. Um, I am definitely impressed with the curl because um, I was scared because I'm like this is just so not me. Um, it's a lot longer than I thought it would be. I feel as though this hair is going to straighten so well like I'm so excited. Um, very very neat stitch work. Very neat. The only thing like I said was the elastic band. We should probably stitch this on the machine. Yeah just by judging by the stitch. She stitched the wefts on a machine. Because I was trying to figure out, like, how is she making these wigs so fast? Because when I make my wigs, I make them by hand. And it takes me five hours. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to take off this wig. Not really stuck on on this side. You guys know how I do. I'm just going to take this off. It is stuck in the front, but not very well. Yeah, again, y'all know how I do. And then we're going to try this on. I have a lot of plans for this wig. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to do things a little bit different. Not with how I stick it on, because, yeah, it's just not for me. Um, I do want to try that style that's really popular where you put some up and then leave some down. You know, because, again, this wig is different for me, so why not do everything different? So, let's go ahead, hook this back. And I did also order this in a medium cap. Hello. <laughs> yes. I should have had a mirror. Good thing for a smartphone with a front facing camera. Alright, now let's get into that. Ooh. I feel dark and mysterious. Okay. Okay, Terry Styles. And the other thing that I liked about this unit that I saw on her page is that she said it was a glueless unit. Um, and as you guys know, like I really like the frontals and they do look a lot more natural than a closure and it gives you a lot more flexibility. But one of the issues that I was running into with a wig with a frontal, not necessarily an issue, but just a, a common occurrence is that none of them were glueless. Um, I did see one company, they'll remain nameless because you guys know who they are, um, where their frontals are glueless but given the history of what I've ran into with their wigs, I'm not going to be investing any money just to have one glueless just to have the hair like fall apart in a matter of years. Sounds long but it's not long enough. Um, but yeah, I love this. I feel exotic. It's really dark though. But I definitely love it. Oh, would help if I put the wig on all the way in the back. And then there's combs. Oh gosh, yes. Oh gosh, yes. You know, I noticed on her page, um, just getting back into the the maker of the wig, who it's Fabulosities Me or Terry Styles, as she calls herself on Instagram, that a lot of people complained about her wig and not really knowing like how to customize it. Um, this wig is just, the cap construction is really good. The hair is extremely soft. Um, I can't imagine why anyone would have any issues um, with her wig. Um, yeah. I can't imagine why. This thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous. How you doing? Um, but yeah, that pretty much wraps it up, wraps up this unboxing. Um, so far, so good. No complaints. The hair is definitely a lot different than I thought it would be just given the video um, in a good way. Like it's a lot softer. Um, it feels as though, not necessarily softer, but it feels as though there's so much moisture in the hair that 
if I, sh you know, like sometimes when you have like a curly hair and you straighten it out, it doesn't straighten out too well. It kind of always looks like it was curly. I don't get the impression that that's how it's going to be with this wig. Um, I guess we'll find out. I'm not sure if I'll post a video and me straightening out the wig itself. However, um, I will definitely keep you guys updated as to how this wig straightened out, but... I love it. So that pretty much just wraps it up for this unboxing video. If you guys, again, are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, bye for now.